Coming up later in the programme, traditional Maori culture meets modern business ideas in New Zealand. The best of Brazil, hitting the heights of business in Rio. And in Monaco, the MBA school not gambling with its students' future. Association of MBAs TV brings you the biggest and most important names from across the industry. Later in the programme, we'll hear from the Association's Chief Executive, Sharon Bamford. But first, I caught up with the Association's President, Sir Paul Judge. Sir Paul, a dramatically changing economic world. How relevant are the Association of MBAs activities to employers today? Well, as the world changes more rapidly, training is more important for those who control the world's resources and managers of organizations. And so the MBA and the Association of MBAs is even more relevant now in fast changing times. Employers want reassurance that the students that they are recruiting are good. Business schools want a way of comparing themselves and making sure they're moving forward as other business schools do. And the Association of MBAs can provide information and transparency to all of the audiences, the students, the alumni, the employers, and the business schools themselves. Does the MBA mean different things to people according to the country in which they took the course? Well, every course is different, but the requirement to reach a standard is a universal. And the Association of MBAs, through its accreditation scheme, makes sure of that for the best business schools. We now have over 175 business schools accredited in 70 countries around the world. And that is really the standard which all business schools aspire to. And it gives a guarantee that the course will really be transformational for the students who go on it. Would a course be adapted according to the economic circumstances of the country in which it was being taught? The course content will, of course, change depending on the state of development of the country. But, of course, one of the great things about a, a really good MBA is that there are people from many countries on the course and not only international students, but international faculty and international businessmen coming to talk to the students in seminars and lectures. And so the whole purpose of an MBA is to equip people with the skills they need in this very complex international world. Does the MBA have any real competition, or is it basically the global standard? Well, the MBA is generally reckoned to be the uh, most universal of all of the degrees. It's more similar between countries than almost any other form of degree and the way in which it operates has uh, in the last uh, few years become even more similar as the world has connected very much more and through the internet students in different business schools can communicate and indeed do teamwork exercises with students in other countries.